Any questions? Go on, sir. You know, at the current state that we're going in, in Britain, with the amount of people that are reproducing and stuff, Britain is going to be ruled by Sharia in like the next 20, 30 years. You know that, right? Okay. okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah, that's fine. Of Christians having kids... I, yeah, yeah, I'm going to reply to that very statement. So, so the brother... So, uh, longer. Longer. So, ladies and gentlemen, the brother raises a point. Here's the reason why Britain does need immigrants. Right? The reason why Britain needs immigrants like JC, right, is because, ladies and gentlemen, why Anglo-Saxons like myself have given up on the family. They believe in abortion. They believe in divorce. They believe in contraception. And so, because of these immoral practices like you find in Islam, they, ladies and gentlemen, are destroying themselves. And for that reason, we do need immigrants in the UK, ladies and gentlemen. And the brother raises a point. Demographically, if something does not change, by 2070, I would say, we're going to see cities and areas in the UK that are being dominated by Sharia. But that does not have to be our fate. If we abandon liberalism, that is destroying Anglo-Saxon culture, and we recommit ourselves to the idea of the Christian family. And, ladies and gentlemen, we filter, yes, we filter our immigration policy to welcome good immigrants while keeping out bad immigrants. We can avoid that fate. Go on, bro. In terms of we you talking about immigrants and stuff, with, in regards to what I said, you obviously you mentioned the good points of like liberalism and abortion and contraception. And all I'm sorry, things. I can't hear you over these guys. Um, one sec, with the things that you mentioned. Notice yeah? the shut up now. Good, the good points. Yeah. So like abortion, liberalism, all of these things. This, yeah. This is what is stopping from like the Anglo-Saxons, as you would say, or the yeah. British people or Christians or whoever, from reproducing and having enough enough people reproducing to where it can actually prosper, right? Society. Yeah. Like with British people and Christianity, but in addition to that, you also said um, immoral practices, like they do have in Islam. Yeah. But, but that's a contradiction because the point here is that in fact Islam is still rising in Britain because they are reproducing and they're not abiding to the liberalism um, ideology such as abortion and contraception and all of these things. Okay, so but rather Christians are like yourself, not yourself personally, but like generally Christians are. Uh, they're becoming more atheists. Britain, British people are not holding on to the religion and that's why there's a decline in that and then an the uprising in Islam because we're still holding on to our religion and not trying to okay, accept so let me the reply. Um, li liberalist ideology. So let me reply. Firstly, you're absolutely right to point out that the thing that's killing British culture is liberalism. We both agree on that, right? And you're right to point out that Islam is growing numerically. Are you right to point that out? But I want to point out to you that the reason why Islam is growing numerically is not because it prohibits abortion, because it doesn't, and it's not because it prohibits divorce, because it doesn't. The reason why Islam is the fastest growing religion in the UK is the idea of, it's, it's because of the social model that Muslims are using. So, sociologically, Muslims are using a, a sociological model that modern sociologists would, could call the Benedict Option. It's this idea that you all get together, the, the idea you're very deliberate about creating families and the idea that you do val value families, right? Now, where Christians apply those same models of sociology, Christianity is also growing. I'll give you an example. The Amish are Christians in America. They adopt all the same social structures that Muslims do and they are the fastest growing religion in the USA. They're faster growing than Muslims in the USA. The Bruderhof in the UK 
or a fast growing movement. They're coming from a smaller base, but they're growing because of the social model that they're adopting. Which is similar to the Islamic one. It, yes, it, the, so Muslims are adopting a social model that works. And when there are examples of Christian communities adopting that same social model, it also grows. It also grows. So the point is, it's not that Islam is teaching something that Christianity isn't, it's the way that we're implementing it. Now, you said something that's wrong. You said that Christians are adopting liberalism, I feel like right? And then Christians are becoming atheist, right? And, and just, to add, just a little point to that, like the Pope recently, I know you're not Catholic, but the Pope recently, yeah. he clear cut said, oh, you probably saw in the news, yeah. that he accepts same-sex marriage. Right, so just a small correction to your small point. He clearly didn't say that. And actually, the Vatican came out with a statement after the one you're talking about, in, in exact words saying that they're not talking about blessing gay marriage. So I'm just, you're just factually wrong, you've been misled by the media. So my point to you is, I'll take your word on it. you can check it, I invite you to check it. But my point to you is, bro, right? My point to you is, Christianity doesn't accept divorce. Christianity doesn't accept abortion. So the fact that some Christians are not following the Christian faith isn't a reflection on Christianity, it's a reflection on those people. persons. Yeah. Also, I would just point out, I suspect that a lot of the people that you're calling Christians not are really not Christian. actually Christians, I know, I know, yeah. right? There's a lot of people that are just Christian by name. Yeah, exactly. not really practicing. Yeah. But also, I just want to add to the point where you said that Islam doesn't advocate or, or go against abortion or, or marriage. So I'm not learning anything, but I'll tell you something that I do know. Yeah. I know that I know in Judaism there's something to where the women can't divorce the man, but the just man so you know, I've got to go at five thirty. Okay, um, this is one quick little point. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I've, you've got me until five thirty. Judaism, where the women can't um, divorce the man, but the man can divorce the woman. In Islam, the man can divorce the woman, and the woman can divorce the man. Yeah. However, clearly stated, Allah hates divorce. Yeah. Hates divorce. Yeah. It should be the last, absolute last option for you to have, for you to have to divorce your husband or your wife. Yeah. Allah hates divorce. So Islam is against divorce. Now, hold Allah on one second. He tells us that he hates divorce. No, that which, if you permit something, you're not against it. Like, if I, if, 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 if I say... So you're I, not allowed to divorce... One, 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 second, one second, one second, one second. One second. If, if, one second. If I, if I say, if I say that drinking alcohol is permitted, it, that it's acceptable, then it's uh, not prohibited. It's not prohibited. Yeah. So am I in favor of drinking alcohol or against it? Absolutely. Okay, so if you put it no, in no, that no. perspective, be, there's, no, there's no context no, no. behind that. No, no, no I want you to answer. No, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. Can, can, can no, no, hold on. Bro, calm down. He's big enough to talk for himself. Do you know, okay. Right? So like, I'll, I'll, we can have all, we can all, you can participate. I'm not trying to exclude you. But let's all have a conversation, yeah? But I'm unfortunately, literally, we're running out of time. But my point to you is, Answer this question. Answer. If, if I answer. say that you can drink alcohol, right, but I really discourage you from drinking alcohol, am I in favor of drinking alcohol or against it? So, the, the example that you used doesn't correlate to divorce. Now, let me explain why. So, I want example, you to answer my exact question. If I say I discourage you from drinking alcohol, alcohol's really bad for you. Don't drink alcohol, but you can if you want to. Okay. Am I, I against do drinking you alcohol? Answer my question after I answer this. Yes, of course. You're against alcohol. You're against alcohol. Yeah. Okay, right, carry on. So, if your religion teaches that a man and a woman, the woman and the man cannot divorce each other, so they are bound to be together, yeah. whether they like it or not. In my in my opinion, generally that is wrong. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's wrong. Because now, if I marry your daughter and I'm being abusive to your daughter, and your daughter does not have the right to divorce me, that God is unjust. Okay, so allow me to reply. Firstly, 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 you, you, you're factually wrong. Christians, there, there are uh, ways in which Christians can have divorce. So if one partner commits adultery, divorce can happen. If one partner who is a non-believer leaves the Christian partner, that also allows divorce as well. So you actually don't understand what my religion teaches. Secondly, out of our two religions, out of our two religions, the only one that sanctions domestic abuse is the Quran, is Islam. Because it says that you can beat your wife. Wait, 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 one second. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second. If the husband is being abusive to her, 
as Christians, we can't abandon that woman to abuse. So that means, that, so, so, I'm gonna, so they can't divorce because of abuse, but if the woman is abusing the man, sorry, my apologies, if the man is abusing the woman, then the community should protect the woman from the man, right? Personally, I'm in favor of taking the guy around the bike, back, back of the back shed, the, the bike sheds, and letting him know what it is to be hit, right? And showing him that actually hitting a woman ain't okay. And then right? take his anger out right? her just for, for you doing that. Right, but in Islam, it says that you can beat your woman if you suspect them of disobedience. Not, not if they've been disobedient, not if they've done something wrong, if you have a suspicion that they have done something wrong. So I can't take lectures from Muslims about domestic abuse. Remember, in the hadiths, Aisha came to Muhammad and showed her a, a woman that had been hit by her husband. And her bruise was as green as her clothes. And Muhammad didn't condemn the abuse. That's in your books. It depends if she created adultery. She it wasn't adultery. It wasn't there's, adultery. There's always context behind everything. Right. right. But my point to you is, my point to you is, my point to you is, right? Like, Bro, brother. I'm sorry. It was nice. It's all right. We both got to go. What's Bob, your name? We have to go. Granite. Granite. Nice to meet you, yes. Granite. And yours? Adam. Adam. Have you got a Bible, Granite? We've spoken before, Bob, off camera. Maybe you might have forgotten because we speak to a lot of people. But Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. I'm, I'm, that, that's I'm, fine. But have you got a Bible? I've had one. I was Catholic before. Can I give you a Bible? I have one at my house. All right, you look after yourself, Granny. Come and talk to me again. It was nice talking to you.